Welcome. In front of me is a Motorola Edge 50 Neo, and today I'll go for unboxing along with a quick look at the phone itself. So, popping it straight open, we just have uh, one seal to cut through. And right off the bat, we are presented with a nice smelling box. I don't know why, but this, this always brings a smile to my face. Uh, opening up a package that doesn't smell like straight up China just, you know, always feels nice. Now, color-wise, uh, as you can see, it's uh, almost identical to the box itself. And uh, we did have the color right here on the box. As you can see this little sticker. Uh, now, this is like a pleather look. And for some reason, the color of the device is uh, also embedded in the case itself right here. I'm um, not sure why. This isn't like a sticker that you can peel off. Uh, at least I don't think so. It doesn't seem so because it's embedded in there. Uh, so yeah, uh, but it feels really nice in the hand. Uh, booting it up. Gonna, there we go. Ooh, that's a really nice uh, edge to edge display. So anyway, let's just put it up and also take a look at the included accessories, which is just a cable, Type-C to Type-C and paperwork. And that's about it. Mm. Man, always smells nice. Anyway, um, booting up the device, you can uh, see the bezels a little bit clearer now. And this is a 6.4 inch display, so on a smaller side for well, current day phones. Uh, but it is running a resolution of 1256 uh, by 2764 pixels. So that is a pretty dense, uh, densely packed display. And it is at 474 pixels per inch. Now it is an LTPO. Uh, P OLED display, 1 billion colors, 120 hertz refresh rate, HDR10 plus certification, a peak brightness of whopping 3000 nits. It also boasts over 90% screen to body ratio, more precisely 90.8, and uh, is covered with a Cornell Gorilla Glass 3. The display uh, right here is fantastic. Now, if we flip it over to the back, we have what looks to be a triple camera setup, and the main sensor is a 50 megapixel f 1.8 aperture wide sensor with uh, PDAF and optical image stabilization, and then we get a 10 megapixel f 2.2 aperture, 73 millimeter telephoto lens with PDAF optical image stabilization and a three times optical zoom, and a 13 megapixel f 2.2 aperture, 13 millimeter 120 degree ultra wide lens. And with those cameras, you can shoot videos at 4K 30 frames. And if you drop it down to 1080p, you get up to 60 frames and slow motion of 120 and 240, supporting gyroscopic electronic image stabilization. Uh, now, at the front, we have a single hole punched camera right here, which houses a 32 megapixel f2.4 aperture wide sensor, which, just like the back ones, will allow you to record videos at 4K up to 30 frames and 1080p up to 60 on slow motion of 120. At least I presume that is a slow motion of 120. Okay, so now with the cameras out of the way, let's talk about the internals. And uh, the device comes with a 4,310 uh, milliamp hour battery, so that is pretty good. It supports 68 watts uh, charging speed on the cable, uh, so that's pretty decent. It's way better than what Samsung can provide you with a $18, $1,900 device, so I just want to point that out. And it also supports uh, wireless charging. At least I think I can quickly make sure. Yep, a wireless charging of 15 watts. So again, pretty decent. And uh, the device itself comes with either 8 or 12 gigabytes of RAM, and that is dependent on which storage you go for. So 256 uh, gigabytes of storage comes with 8 gigabytes of RAM, but half a terabyte comes with 12. Um, it is also UFS storage type that doesn't specify which version of it. So your guess might be as good as mine. Um, so storage wise, it's pretty decent. And in terms of the processor powering all of this, it's a Dimensity 7300, a pretty good processor uh, that will basically get through everything that you throw at it. Now, last thing that I want to add is the price tag of this device, which is about nearly uh, 500 euros, uh, which basically equates to nearly $500 as well. Um, so the reason I'm pointing that out is because the device offers a pretty good package all in all. 
it feels nice modern uh, it feels um and looks also relatively premium not the biggest fan of the color the brown one just doesn't really speak to me all that much but there is three options or actually four options for colors so we have the na uh, natural we know nautical blue I think that's how you pronounce it, whatever. We have the latte, which this is the latte. Uh, Grisali. Again, I'm just trying to pronounce words that I'm reading for the very first time. Uh, Poinciana. Again, no clue if that's how you pronounce it. Uh, also, because of the bullshit idea here of these... Uh, uh, ideas of colors rather than just names of the colors uh, i have no freaking clue what they actually are so yeah great uh, latte i guess is probably the best guess as it, i'm holding it in my hand and i can already know how latte coffee looks like so th that was a little bit more uh, obvious but the rest of them i mean i guess the first one the not naughty something blue um i can imagine that it's some sort of blue but that's as far as i will go so um so yeah if you, this isn't your color you have a couple additional options to choose from hopefully there's one that will uh, speak to you now i do want to also point out one more thing if the premium look of the device isn't necessarily something that you look for but you just want a solid device at a affordable price then you might want to maybe look at something like um the nothing phone cmf uh, phone one more precisely uh, which is uh, coming at about like 200 to 50 dollar price tag uh, offers basically same kind of specifications um but well basically half the price uh, but it will feel a bit cheaper as it is primarily a plastic build device um so yeah and the, like i said the phone has the hardware behind it just not the not the look for it it is made cheaply to basically give you the cheapest phone that is actually still a decent powerhouse so yeah that is something that you could check out it will skip out on things like wireless charging if that is something you really want uh that phone doesn't have it uh but i recommend looking into it if you are looking for maybe something cheaper but still relatively good Anyway, with that being said, hopefully you found this very helpful, and if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.